What's up guys, Tortured Elf here and today I have got a little tutorial on a glitch in Forza Horizon that allows you to paint chrome rims. Uh, the rims that I'm talking about are the Tenzor RS5s. These are the rims that I used on my Monster Mustang uh, about two designs ago and people, a few comments, I had a couple of messages asking me how did I paint the rims because typically when you select them, like I'm doing in the video now, um, when you go to the paint booth afterwards it tells you that you can't paint them because they're chrome rims. However, the inserts, like the spokes on the rims, they're actually they, they're not a chrome finish so typically you should be able to paint them right but obviously the game doesn't let you so this little trick is a way to get around it so first off I'm gonna select the rims size them up get them how I want them nice and big for the uh, for the BMW GTR um, BMW M3 GTR I should say um, and then we're gonna go over to the paint booth and try and paint these rims straight how you would with any of the other rims in the game so let's take that over there it's back out of this uh, booth into a nice long loading screen that this game seems to have still and yeah so I, I discovered this from Forza 4 I believe there was a trick to do some Forza 4 I did it on my Citroen DS3 um, which is kind of a little glitch that lets you get white rims um, they're not actually white they're silver but when you're in game they appear white um, and it kind of just comes from that effectively the idea is that you paint another set of rims and then switch back to them and that allows the paint to carry over so first off we're now in the paint booth so let's have a look at trying to paint the rim straight like you would have any other rims so we'll go along and select it and oh error message you can't paint these rims because they are a chrome finish so this little trick that we're now going to do we'll uh, switch that up so what you want to do is you want to come out of the paint booth go back to the garage which again long loading screens I apologize that this video is a bit longer the reason I wanted to do it as like one continual take is so that people could see that there are no there's no modding or external messing around with the game. It's simply a glitch in the game. Because I had a few messages and I had a comment from someone asking how did I do it. And I had a few messages of people saying did I mod, did I glitch, use some sort of external program or whatever. And no, it's, it's all in game. So go back to your garage, go to custom upgrades. Now you can pick any other rim as long as it's a paintable rim for this. But I'm pretty sure that I just want to pick another Tenzo rim. Go right through. If, if you want to be safe, just use the same rim that I use in this. So it's the first set of Tenzos. Yeah, these rooms are totally paintable. So go into it, select those, come back out of the garage, shoot straight back over to the paint shop again, and uh, and let's get in there and paint up these wheels instead. Um, I really like the Tenzo RS5s. I think they're quite a nice rim. They go. They look quite mean. I think they go quite nicely with. Um, some of the cars, like the Mustang design, I thought it looked they looked quite meaty, like quite thick spokes on it. So I thought it looked quite good with that design. And I don't know, I don't like the just the grey rim. I quite like to colour code the rims. I think it works well with the designs I do. So let's go back over to the paint booth. Some more dirty wheel spins because no traction control and all that jazz. Uh, oh, nice 5,000 credits to collect. Anyway, yeah, go back into Design Creator. Wait through more loading screens. That's the one thing I hope in the next Forza they, they really reduce is the loading screens because they're the most tedious thing, especially when you paint. Um, yeah, So go and select the colours you want. I think I'm going to go for kind of like a neon yellowy green. Something sort of monster-esque. Like a, like a, just a slight green. Yeah, we got like a slight green tint in that yellow. And while we're here, let's just paint the body up. We'll go for like a matte black or a matte grey. I think I went matte black, yeah. Just, just a matte black to let the, the green walls pop. So now that you've painted those rims, you want to go back over to the garage and change them back to the Tenzor RS5s, and we'll see if anything happens. See if the if uh, we've now got painted Tenzor RS5s. Anyway, I know it's Tenzo R. Tenzo R. Damn it! I can never pronounce some of these aftermarket companies. I just it's terrible. I should I should really learn how to say a lot more of this, especially when I'm talking about it to you guys all the time. But anyway, back over to the garage and custom upgrades once again you guys know how to do this I'm just talking to Phil in the video in the silence and uh, yeah if you guys I, I'm not sure if this works with other chrome rims that you can't paint I've only ever actually tried it with, the, with this particular model of rim but um, if anyone knows if they work on if this technique works on others let me know because uh, I'd like to know but yep switch over and look the inserts are nice and green just like the, you painted the previous set of rims now this is a glitch and there are some funky kind of things of it so when you're in the paint booth when you're in the garage 
your inserts will be green, the spokes, but the outside of the rim will be chrome still. Um, however, when you come out, like I've just done, into the game, and you're going to see the actual entire rim is now painted in the game. So there you go. You can see there the whole rim, even the part that was chrome back in the paint booth, is, is now painted as well. Um, in gameplay and replays, you're going to have a fully painted rim. Uh, in the booth, in the garage, and also in the photo mode, uh, you're going to have that chrome sort of exterior part of the rim is going to be completely chrome. And that's cool, I guess. It, it's a bit annoying that you. I quite like the chrome on the outside, so it would have been nice to have that in the gameplay, but you can't really avoid it. So that's just how it is. And also, look, you can't paint the rims again, but they still stay green. So that that's a little way to paint them. If you quite like those rims like I do and you want to use them, then there you go that's that's your best way to uh to do it really um it's a, it's a lot quicker when you know what you're doing because you don't have to faff around like i did you just pick rims paint them go back and switch them um but i just want to show you guys in one complete take that there's no trickery to this i didn't like glitch out the game or do it in post editing it's actually just a little glitch uh, a little glitch in the game's uh paint system god i'm all stumbling over my words today this is ridiculous but um i hope this video ain't been too long for you guys because i know this has gone on for a little while and normally my, my videos are like two or three minutes so thank you for sticking with it and having a look it's a it's a, a tutorial of sorts it's more just showing you guys how uh, how it's uh, done really and um, this is me just dicking about showing you that yeah the wheels are completely coloured now in uh, gameplay and they will also be in your replays if you uh, like drive along hit rewind and then go into replay you'll see there just as they are in gameplay However, when you like I said, when you jump over into photo mode, so here we are in the notorious slam spot. Uh, you're going to see that when we take a photo and go into the camera mode, that oh look, our rims are now chrome again on the outside. So if you go and slam your car and want to take photos of it, you can get some really nice shots. And uh, if you record like I do, you can get the shots that I did earlier on in the beginning of the video, like the slow pans of the rims. They look quite nice with the chrome. The light pops off them, and I think it really sets off. Uh, the the wheel when you've got the chrome on the outside so it's a nice little glitch I hope you guys uh, like it it's not I didn't find this this has been around for ages so just thought I'd let you guys know because I've had a few questions and uh, yeah that's it guys thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah check me out for some more videos